guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here, and I am just here really quickly to kind of just give you a little update. Um, I'm still working on getting all the diapers all set, and, you know, we gotta sleep here tonight, so it is, uh, two in the morning, and I still have these on my bed, which is crazy, but we're working on it. But what I wanted to do is, right now I'm working on these. These are your pocket diapers, and I told you guys I don't really like pocket diapers. But, um, I was putting these, you know, the inserts inside and stuff, and I was thinking about my f full body silicone baby. And, um, I was thinking, I was like, you know what, real babies lay on these and they pee and they poo, and then they, you know, the parents have to wash them. So, I was thinking that, as an alternative, this is for people that just have full body silicone babies, and if you're okay with doing anything to your diaper. Some people, they pay so much money and they'd rather have their, their diaper clean, and in that case, you want to use something on the lines of this. Just a fake poopy diaper that you can just continuously use. This is an insert, so, and I have them in a couple of different styles i have them in this style where they got the pig poo on there and stuff so and also they also have these these aren't too bad and you can also put fake poo on these these aren't that, that expensive and then you can just put this on top so it really depends on what you're looking for now the other thing you can use with these are the liners which now i don't know where they went to okay here they are so you could still do the fake poo and pee. Now the pee will saturate it, so you will have to wash it after. But if you put the liner, now I don't really know exactly how to do these. I don't know if you're supposed to cut them or what. This just looks like one piece. <laughs> so I don't know how that works. But um, you can also just place the liner because then you can just, you know, you'll have the doo doo poo there. The pee will go through it, but then, you know, it will be less of a mess when you're done. And then you can just take this and flush it in the toilet. And that food or whatever you use to make your poopy diapers can go on to this. And, you know, just keep be aware that it will go on to here a little bit, but maybe not as bad. So, um, I just thought I'd mention that. Now, again, like I said, it's for a baby like this who's full body. He's got his little diaper on. Really cute. So, um, what we're talking about when you're doing your fake poo and you add your water, it can be food, you know, with that, um, uh, the only kind of food coloring I use is the yellow for the pee and it doesn't seem to bother them. But, um, I wouldn't use red or anything like that. I'd be scared it would, uh, ruin the baby. But, um, uh, for him, for these particular diapers, I would, you know, if I wanted to, if I didn't care about the diaper, I would put the pee and the poo on here. And it actually, like, if you really wanted to, let's just say, we'll just call it, like, the you're, you're playing like you're really washing and drying. And, I mean, you just have to keep in mind that's what you, really what you'd be doing. Um, but um, if you wanted that feeling of that much of a realism that would be perfect to do and the thing is you don't have to do it every time you can maybe do five diapers like that and then just wash those five diapers and most people have their washing machine at home so it's really easy to just throw these in and because obviously it's not real poo or pee you could put it in with your clothes unless you were concerned that the food you used is going to hurt your clothes but i really doubt it i don't um you know but um uh, yeah, they do recommend, though, that, uh, you at least, you know, wash your diapers, whether it was pre-washed or, um, you know, your fake whatever here, or even if it was real, they do recommend you wash them within 48 hours. So it's like two days you can play and then put them in your little pail, and then you take out the insert, just like a real mom would do with a real baby. And then you can, um, you know, within two days, uh, like somebody said with the real baby, you can do, uh, you know, two days and then wash on the third day. Um, you know, if I had a real baby, I would be pre-soaking them anyways. And even with our, 
you know, full body silicone babies, I'd be pre-washing them. And that's kind of really easy to do in the bathtub unless you are just going to throw them in your washing machine. But um, we actually have to go out and do laundry. So um, I would actually be doing these particular diapers if I knew in the next three days I was going to the, la you know, the laundry mat to get it done. Because that's what I'd have to wash. And the other thing too is these take a while. Maybe not as bad to dry as some of the other diapers I have. But... Um, you know, you still got to take time for that, too. So, I just wanted to tell you guys that little thing. Obviously, I'm sure a lot of you know that you could have done that. Um, but that fake poo that I was telling you about um, is not... It's only for silicones. That's why I provide these. And this part right here, the stuff, can go right onto the diaper. And if you have any diapers that you just want to have, you know, some fake poo and pee... Um, I am willing to do custom orders for that. You just send me your diapers. I will charge you just for doing that and not the whole diaper and the insert. As long as you provide the insert, unless you just wanted it on here, that's fine. It would be no charge. Um, even in, It would be no extra charge if you had your own insert too. So if you sent me the insert, instead of buying an insert from me, um, it would cost less. But... Um, I do sell these. I sell a lot of them. I sell these. I sell these. So I can provide you with that. I do sell diapers as well. Um, you know, they're up on my Etsy shop. But I just wanted to let you guys know that. So thank you guys so much for watching. And please subscribe. Thanks, guys.